Hi, this is Glenn White with EuroSafety. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about servo transparency, or sometimes known as jack stall. The phenomenon of servo transparency is the hydraulic servo getting to the end of its ability to push the pressure against it. So, for instance, in an AS350, the pressure in the hydraulic system in that helicopter is 40 bars of pressure, and PSI that comes out to 580. At 40 bars of pressure, the servo can push 418 pounds of pressure. Now, when it gets to 418 pounds of pressure that you've induced into the pitch in the blades or the severity of a turn, the servo can't push past that. Now, what happens in the cockpit is it feels like the controls lock up on you. Now, technically, they haven't locked up. You just have to push more than 418 pounds. So the system is designed that way so as to counteract the ability of the pilot to increase the forces so great on the airframe that it would cause damage. The idea is that if you get to where the safety limit is and it locks up on you, or it feels like it locks up on you, that you know that you are in too severe of a maneuver. At that point, you're supposed to stop pushing in that direction and lower the collective. Obviously, when this happens, usually you're trying to put the cyclic away from a hard surface like the, like the ground or a canyon wall or something. So your body won't let you put the cyclic back towards that obstacle. So the way we have to address it is we have to fly in a manner which we never get into it. And you have to fly the helicopter quite severely to get into it. Now there is an exception to that. And that's if, if you exceed your V&E in the aircraft. And a lot of people say, well, there's no way I'm, I'm getting past 155. Well, the max speed of the AS350 is not 155. It's 155 minus three knots per thousand feet. Now at 2,000 feet, that's only 149. But you go up to 10,000 feet, and now your V&E is 125. That's a value that is easily achievable. And what happens when you exceed your V&E, particularly at altitude, the system again will once again uh, experience servo transparency. So I hope that clears up any misunderstandings about servo transparency, and we'll see you the next time at the next Eurosafety tutorial.